Page 92, Sonata Theme. This is a theme or a, a melody. A theme is a, a melody or part of a melody from a, a Mozart sonata. I studied this sonata in college. It's gorgeous. Uh, they tell you up above a little bit about Mozart, and this is the Sonata K331. You can Google it or YouTube it or something and listen to it. It's really pretty. So let's talk about this. We get more, ex more experience with this dotted rhythm thing. It's four lines long. Treble and bass clef, one sharp in the key signature, we're in the key of G major. Make sure you can do the G major scale one octave. You've heard this lecture before, blah, blah, blah. Okay, three, four time this time. And we got dotted rhythms all over the place, one and two and. So let's take the right hand first to make sure we got the rhythms and notes okay. You're starting here, which is G, and it's one and two and three and. Remember, let's review. It's important you understand this. The, at the beginning. The quarter note comes on beat one. The dot comes on beat two because the quarter note takes a whole beat. And the dot only gets half the value, so it's only half a beat. So the eighth note comes on the and of two. One and two and. And that's the way they all work. Okay. Two and three and. One and two and three. One and two and three. And two and three. That's the hardest part of it. Left hand, well you got a G and a D to start, you're here. Together, one, two, three, one, two, rest. The little finger comes down. Then we'll use third finger. I would prefer you use four if you can. We need to be using fourth finger here. And this is really the fingering I would use for this. I would not use that. I might use it actually. Well, I'm, I'm going to encourage you to use the fourth finger there if you can. Red. And then you lift up and come down. We're changing you down here. So you just lift up and move. Two, three, two, three. Now stretch up because I'm going to connect the notes. And then collapse. We, we changed hand position again. See, there's different ways of changing hand positions. So you can lift up and move like we did, or you can stretch out and then collapse and whatever. You crawl around like, you know. Go down the last line. You're here again. Two, three. Two. During the rest, now you lift up and move up. Two. Put the hands together. One and two. Here. These are together. Now that's by itself. And then here. And then these are together. And now that's by itself, and the left hand comes down. I feel like I'm calling a game. Like that? Okay. You go through and put the hands together. I already did. And then go back through it a few hundred times or whatever and get rid of the hesitations. Whatever it takes. Keep it slow. Then we can think about the articulation, in this case the phrasing. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up with the right hand. The left hand you got rests. So other than lifting up for the rest, connect it as best you can. And then the dynamics, MP, mezzo piano, this is a gentle piece. It applies to the melody, which is the right hand. Whatever you think sort of soft is. This left hand needs to be soft or very soft. Keep it in the background. And remember the natural accents. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three, four is only one. Here. One, two, three. One, two. Feel that. And then finally the speed. Well, I doubt it's just a casual stroll. Tardondo there in the last measure, you slow down. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's really best if you can get 
past the mechanics of what note am I, am I playing and blah, yeah. and you start getting into music, you start feeling the music, and you feel the dynamics, you feel the phrasing, you feel the music, you feel the natural accents. That's when it takes a, a lot of these nice sounds and it turns it into music. Let's play it together slowly and double check the notes and the rhythm. So I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go. One and two. Two, three, off.